Welcome to this adventure of Wassel Science as we look at animals that have a case of mistaken identity. We're talking koala bears, but they're not really bears, they're in fact marsupials. So let's go check them out on this adventure of Wassel Science. Let's do it, let's go. Check this out, like us, koalas have opposable thumbs. Unlike us, they've got two of them. So, never have a thumb war with a koala, because they'll always win. They got two thumbs. Why, hello there. Well, that might not be quite what a koala sounds like, but the males do interact and communicate with deep bellows and they do that to scare away rivals and to attract mates. Koalas are gonna live mostly in eucalyptus laden forests, really woodlands made of eucalyptus trees because that makes up most of their diet. Yeah, they're eating mostly eucalyptus leaves. And because that's the number one thing they're taking into their bodies that doesn't have a whole ton of nutritional value, they're gonna sleep about 20 hours a day. Being that koalas are marsupials, which are pouched animals, pouched mammals, they give birth to teeny tiny, little hairless, almost gummy bear-like offspring. Which crawl to the pouch and are gonna stay safe for about six to seven months of their life. Then the young koalas, which are also called joeys, just like young kangaroos, are joeys. These joeys, koala joeys, are fully weaned after about a year. Koalas might look like cute little teddy bears, which is where the koala bear term comes from, but really their name means no water. Koalas aren't endangered, but they are threatened, so they do need our help. The major reason for this status is because of habitat destruction. Woo! What an awesome adventure learning all about the koalas, those super cute critters from Australia. Wow, just an amazing time learning about these creatures created by God. Thanks for joining us on this adventure of Wassel Science. Join us next time, wherever we're at, always exploring God's incredible creation. Let's do it. We'll see you then. Bye.